Hi guys, this is Shiva Redding. Welcome to the Git tutorial. In this session, I am going to explain a git add command. So let us go to uh, the git uh, initial empty repository. Right click on it, git bash here. And uh, now what we need to do is, before we go with the add command, we need to have a few files on the repository. So I am going to create a two new text files. Uh, I would say this name as uh, add one. This is testing add one. And uh, similarly, I am going to create one more text file. Mm, this one I have given name as add two. And this is testing add to file. So now what I have done is I have added two files. Now let us go to the git bash git bash and uh, now what we need to do is we need to add these files to the git repository. In order to add we use the git add and we need to add the file name add one sorry we need to give the txt extension also okay now it got added in order to see the status of the files we have a command called status git status now if i enter the git status initially i have created the two files now if you see the message it is saying that we are on the branch master because with the initial empty repository it will create a branch called as a master and it is saying that initial commit because we didn't commit so far anything that is the reason receiving initial commit now here it is saying it is saying that changes to be committed are say new file at one dot txt because this is the file we added file to the staged area and another one it is called as a untracked files and uh, add to because this add to I didn't use the add command hence this file will this file will become untracked in order to track this file again we need to add using the git add command now what I am doing is git add add to dot txt now I am adding second file to the staging area now if I see the git status command again you will see that there are two files actually it is staged and now if I issue the commit command these two files will be part of the next commit so if I explain I explained this concept earlier I will iterate once again if you see here this is the working copy and whenever you have added new files using the uh, new files by using the add command you need to add those to the staging area now that is the that is the thing what I have done by using the add command what we can do is we can copy we can uh, um, we can move the files from the untracked to staged files so these staged files will be the part of the next commit now one more thing what I am going to show you is now we added two files now if I go to the working directory and I am updating this file what will happen we will see testing add to updated now git will track these changes also now if I go to the git and if I issue the git status command sorry if I issue the git status command now you will see that changes to be committed are new add one and add two these are the previous uh, um, files we have added to the staged area after that we have modified the add to the text file hence it is saying that this file got modified now the point here is that even though you have added the add to the txt file to the staged area after that you have modified the some content in that file hence you have to reissue the add command to get this these changes to the staging hence what we need to do is git add add to dot txt now if i say git status 
you will see that these two files only in the staging area now if you want to add multiple multiple files at a time then we have a flexibility i'll show you that one and uh, here f2 add 3 this is add 3 text file okay and also we need to add one more file uh, this is uh, call it as add 4 this is testing uh, testing add for text file okay now i have added two more files to the working copy now if i see sorry if i see get a status again now it will say that there are two files we have uh, we have um, staged and two files newly added so these are the untracked files because we haven't issued git add command add so in order to add these two files at a time git has a flexibility git add add3.txt space add4.txt now these two files will be added to the staged area or the index it is indexed indexed are the staged are the both having the synonym so you can use any any uh, word or instead of uh, uh, staged you can use as uh, an indexed file also now if i issue the git status command you can see that now four files actually it got staged now if i issue the commit command now these will be part of the uh, com next commit okay and uh, now if you want to have a some folder and inside some folder you have a um, you have the files now how you can add so for example i have a folder test and inside test i have a one more file like um, test1.txt something test1.txt and here i am giving test1.txt i am just giving you a couple of options how you can use this uh, git command now in order to add this way you can directly issue like now you are sure that whatever the changes at a time you want to go as a short you can use git add dot this is a very dangerous command because whatever the changes you have done in whatever the files it is in your local all the files will be added to the staged area i am issuing a git add now if i see the git status command you will see that the all the previously files it is there and also it added the just now we created a one folder inside that we have created test1.1.txt file it automatically add but when you issue a get add dot it means that whatever the files you have added in your working directory all those files will be added to the staged area the uh, staging area hence be careful while you are using the command git add dot hope this add command is clear next co next tutorial we will see further commands thanks for watching if you have any questions please comment on my youtube video have a nice day